Hi everyone and welcome to another quick tutorial with me, Michael Turney. Today we're going to have a quick look at how you can get this kind of wavy plant and like vine effect in Adobe After Effects. Right, let's get into it. To speed up this process, I have a subscription with Envato Elements. So I just downloaded this um, illustration here and then I opened it in Illustrator and sectioned off the part that I want and made two layers with each plant. Then go to File and save as. Next we'll jump into Adobe After Effects and we'll go right click here, import file or control and I is a shortcut. Select our layered vector and then go down to here, import composition and retain layer sizes. Import, double click on the composition and there we are, there's our two plant layers. We're going to convert these to paths now. So if we right click, create, create shape from vector layer. And we can see that it's greyed out, but we'll just hide that and show the plant color underneath. While we've still got our shape layer selected, we'll select the fill and grab the eyedropper tool here. And grab that orange, there we are, click OK. There we are and we can delete that now. We'll then select our shape layer and we'll go to our effects and presets panel and type in bend. And we want the CC bend it and just drag that straight onto the shape layer. And we need to get the start and end points right. So if we grab these, that's the end point. So that will go here at the tip of the leaf and then grab the start point and put that near where the vine starts. And then you can see already you can bend it left to right. We'll keyframe at minus 15 here and hit the keyframe. If we hit U to bring up the keyframes here and go to like one, one and a half seconds We'll do 15 plus. So now we've got this. And then if we select both of the keyframes, right click keyframe assistant, easy ease or F9 is the shortcut. And then we'll hold alt and click on the stopwatch and we'll type in loop out there. And then in quotation marks, we'll type in ping pong. So it looks like this. And then now if we play it, it should sway back and forth like that. And we'll just repeat this process for the other leaves and vines, just so it looks more natural. And there we are, a quick and easy way how to create a swaying plant or vine effect in Adobe After Effects. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and feel free to follow me on Instagram at tierney.tv. Thanks for watching.